Well, we've been hearing about Joe Button versus Drake, and Joe Button was saying that Drake was coming at him, and he was kind of prodding him to probably do a diss song and respond to Joe Button. Now, this all started because Joe Button said he didn't really like that Views from the Six album too much. He said he thought that Drake sounded uninspired. And he said that Drake usually starts the waves, not hops on other waves. I miss a Drake that pushes the agenda, not lets the agenda push him. He said this on his podcast. Well, then after that, he heard a snippet of a, a French Montana played on Instagram where it seems like he's taking shot. Drake is taking shots at Joe Button because he's saying pump, pump it up. And he we was. all know that's a Joe Button song. Yeah, clearly mm -hmm. now we know he was. But the song wasn't out yet. It was just a snippet from French Montana song, No Shopping, that French put on his Instagram page. Well, Joe Button, I guess, got ahead of uh, Drake and started putting out songs. Now, the first song that he put out that addressed uh, Drake directly was Making of a Murderer Part 1. Check it out. No alliances with me can still fuck him too. Before we start to the fans, I'm uncomfortable too. Stuck in the booth feeling like y'all cause I got love for the dude. But now my phone blowing up. They like what I'm gonna do. Show the world you shouldn't poke a man with nothing to lose. All of this just cause I wasn't in love with his views. Whatever happened, I just know they got me confused. Yeah. Here's some more from Making of a Murderer. I think you misconstrued the boundaries of this relationship and this friendship. Which in turn has caused me to do the exact same thing. I don't understand how you think it, or how you in particular, how you call shorty, and I dap you and say you a real nigga, and I critique your album, and all of a sudden we sensitive. I don't understand how you knew it didn't work. So apparently he's saying, we, I thought we was cool. I just critiqued your album, and now we not cool. Is this what the whole beef is about? I mean, let's be clear about a few things. Joe Budden can rap his ass off. Dead nice. But Joe is a terrible decision maker. Because <laughs> since Joe knew that Drake was coming at him in French's record, he should have waited until French dropped the record and, and then, then just bombed on him. Yeah. yeah, because then the first two diss records would have some context to him. Because before that, at least to me, they seemed pointless. Well, well, like, well Joe just... feels like he was dissing him in a, a couple of records beforehand. That's no. what, right. he, that's felt, what he, kept he did saying. feel like there was some subliminal. I, I heard him on the podcast trying to break down, what's it called? 4 p.m. in Calabasas. That, that, the record was about Diddy. I don't care what that whole record was about. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't sound like All right, well, then Joe Button went ahead and put out a second song, and that song was called <laughs> Wake. Canadian, maybe Asian, Croatian, be sounding like it's Jamaican friends, depending on what shady in. I think you rap good, but you a movie star, so that owl's appropriate, we don't know who you are. Where did the boy brain change, was it the club scene? Now you sound like you use people and love things. But later for how you use people and love things, the entendres that upswing when I call you drug king. All right. Mm. Well, Drake has finally went ahead and directly addressed Joe Button on the song No Shopping. This is French Montana's track, and Drake has a guest verse. Pump, pump, pump it up. She got a good head on her, but I pump it up. I'm not a one head one that they know all my stuff. You let me turn into the end that you almost was. I done seen a lot of this shit, and I done been in things. And I never started nothing, I just finished things. And I'm sell off like the man that brought me in this day. Ooh, okay. Listen, I just think we we all need to keep in mind that the last couple of weeks, whenever Joe Budden drops a diss record, senseless shootings and killings happen. Well, Joe Budden put out put another diss record, and this was... <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as he put that diss record out, those cops got shot in Baton Rouge. I this just like was in response to No Shopping. This song is called Afraid. Some of us know you as Jimmy Daly old. He had the baby belly grow. He knew it was real up in his clothes. He really got a hole and it seemed very out of control. Wish we can go back and grab the Blackberry with the road. Oh, yeah, Aubrey, that's the one we trusted. Not this new Aubrey with his stomach sold. I'm disgusted. You're such a hunk in the cub. I can't cover trust of the public. Becoming a hunk in the public. It's bigger than rap battles. What's wrong with having a sculpted stomach? I guess he said he went to Dr. Miami. And he did say he went to Dr. Miami. He said Drake went to Dr. Miami to get his stomach. But Joe, but, but Joe Button's a troll. He, you know, he's been he's been trolling Drake. Hey, he's not been trolling Drake. He's been giving his opinion. He gave his opinion on views. I mean, I didn't like mm -hmm. views either. I mean, he gave a, he damn near was crying about views. If you listen to the podcast, he was damn near crying about views. Because I think he respects so, Drake as a rapper and wants to see him rap more. We all do. But how come when I've been saying that for the past few years, nobody listened to me? I don't like when Drake sings. How many times do I have to say that? I like when he raps. Joe Button been saying that a long time. Oh. I actually think this is something I may want to see only because I want to see what level of MC can Drake rise to. Like, I think he's one of the best rappers out when he actually focuses on rapping. He probably right. is the best of this new era. Absolutely. Joe Budden gets busy. He does. Joe Budden raises the bar pretty high when it comes to those bars. And Joe Budden said he has nothing to lose, so he might really go all in. But, 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 but Joe got to plan it. He got to plan it because he's just shooting off the hip. Button's just going crazy. Yeah, but Joe can't win simply because Joe can't make songs.
Because think about it. You ain't played none of Joe Budden disc records on the radio, but you about to play that French Montana no shopping this morning, and you'll probably be playing it every day after that. You can't beat Drake when it comes to that writing records. That is a fact. Joe can write bars and probably beat him in bars, but he can't beat Drake when it comes to writing records. That's back true. to back was a record. That's true. That played on the radio. That's true. All that all that a hundred million bars it ain't gonna do nothing that's dope, for nobody. That's dope for the streets. It's dope for the car. But Drake ride. does have a dope major label behind him too, right? Mm-hmm. They got nothing to do with that major label. They got nothing to do with that. They got nothing to do with that. Stop it. Why do, why, do, why do people come with that silly nah, record? It has, has no. nothing to do with that. I, I mean, you can't deny that it's harder for an independent artist. No, you no, can't deny a hit record. Yeah, if it's hot, it's hot. If Joe came with a hit record when he was dissing Drake, absolutely radio would be back 100 miles per hour. Because label didn't give me back to back. I, I got it when Drake sent it up that morning. That's right. Well, that's I've been when, yeah, that's when everybody got it. He released it on SoundCloud. Yeah, that's when I got it, yeah. I don't know. All right, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right, thank you, Miss.